Welcome. It looks as though we have a sunspot region returning after exiting over the west limb a couple weeks ago. This is quite a rare occurrence for this time in the solar cycle when active regions tend to be very short-lived. Well, this is what region 2736 looked like just before it went over the west limb. You can see it had a very large leading spot and then a bunch of small trailing spots behind it. It was very magnetically complicated with a mixture of both positive and negative polarity and a lot of motion in the spots which produced a large number of flares. I would be very surprised if it was that magnetically complicated and there were as many spots in the new region. In fact, it may come back with just that, uh, the remnants of that major leading spot or in fact no spots at all. It will be very interesting to see what state it is in when it appears over the limb in a couple of days time. I originally forecasted that this region would return on something like the 7th of April, with it might be returning as early as the 6th or, or as late as the 8th, depending on how it developed on the far side of the sun. We're getting the first glimpses of the new region coming over the limb with this shot from the SDO AIA instrument at 193 angstroms. This is uh, plasma at about a million degrees. So you can see there's some very big loops behind the west limb and when we look at the movie, we'll see that some of them are quite dynamic. This movie started on the 4th of April, and as you can see, there was very little going on at that time. But as the movie carries on and the sun starts to rotate, you begin to see some of the loops from this new region appearing above the limb. They get larger and more intense and more dynamic as time goes by. Well, there are some obvious questions we should be asking ourselves. Will this region, when it returns, likely have any spots? I think the probability is that it will, but it will be a much simpler region magnetically and with fewer spots. It may just have that large uh, leader spot left. The other question is, will it produce any flares? We had 11 flares out of it just a few weeks ago. So uh, is it possible that it will produce flares? I think that is less likely. If there are any flares, they'll tend to be larger, infrequent and long duration events associated with coronal mass ejections. Now I've checked the east limb for, with the SOHO data to see if there have been any recent coronal mass ejections off the east limb coming from this region, and there haven't. That would imply that this region is not producing very many, if any, flares. Well, keep an eye on my Twitter channel for any day-to-day -day updates. And so until next time, goodbye.